Hey everyone, this is Justin from Graffiti Games, and I'm here to share some info about our upcoming game with Furvier Games called Creature Keeper. We're excited to be collaborating on the Adopt a Monster event, and you can learn more about which creatures are available to adopt via a charitable gift on Tiltify. So please visit the site and donate if you're able. All proceeds go towards supporting real life animals. In Creature Keeper, the world of Thera is inhabited with a ton of great creatures. Like this one, and this one, and this one. But for this video, let's focus on the Nokobo. Look here, we found a couple wild Nokobos. As a beginner creature keeper, this creature could be a pretty good choice to add to your party. Nokobos can tend to be pretty callous towards strangers. However, they're super swift and can move across terrain relatively quickly, allowing them to attack enemies that might be out of your immediate reach. To befriend a wild creature, you'll want to have a food handy that the creature will respond well to. However, everybody loves a good moondrop fruit, so let's toss it here and make a new friend. If the creature is a fan of what you've offered them, you'll begin to build up their friendship meter. Once it's filled, they'll join your party if you have an open slot available. Keep in mind, not all creatures are so easily convinced to join you. Some might even require special items in order to persuade them to join your ranks. Occasionally, you might come across creatures that have been corrupted by an evil blight that's running across the land. You won't be able to befriend these creatures since they are mad with sickness, so don't even bother trying to capture or tame them. Now that we have a Nokobo, let's explore a bit more about how they behave. Nokobo will attack using their sharp talons to do a rather effective slashing attack. Since they're quick on the battlefield and can cover a lot of ground easily, you can rely on them to quickly take out enemies that might be otherwise evasive. Treat them well, and your Nokobo can be an incredibly useful companion. In order to help you become the greatest of all creature keepers, you're going to want to take advantage of a few trusty tools that every master of the craft needs to rely on. From the Creature Manager menu, you can quickly review the creatures currently in your party. First off, while a creature is stored, you can change its name. So let's change this one. Once you have your creature pulled up in the menu, you can review its current level and stats. While in this menu, you can also equip your creature with stat boosting trinkets. Some will not only raise their stats, but also give them special abilities. So be sure to keep a lookout for trinkets that will really make your creature a force to be reckoned with. You'll probably want to keep a healthy stock of food in your creature's snack sack so that they automatically get fed whenever they're hungry. The food you feed them will also help boost their stats. Keep in mind that each creature uses different stats for their attack strength, so you'll want to pay attention to which meals and trinkets benefit your companions the most. If you want to swap a creature out with another, you can simply store them for whenever you want to call on them again. Your bestiary keeps track of all of the creatures you've befriended or come across in combat. As you encounter more creatures, you'll unlock points that you can use to unlock skills and level up your own attributes. So you'll definitely want to return to your bestiary often to see what new things are available to you. By investing points into a bestiary entry, you'll also learn more about a particular creature, including details like its resistances, traits, and drop percentages. You could also learn new recipes that will open up new crafting options. Speaking of which, you're going to come across lots of materials that you can use at the various crafting stations in order to make food, weapons, trinkets, and hats. The first time you go to make an item, you'll have to use a few additional resources in order to develop a prototype. Once you've successfully crafted an item the first time, it won't cost you as many materials to create in the future. As you travel around and defeat creatures, keep an eye on what drops you collect by checking the bottom of the screen whenever you pick them up. Remember to consult your bestiary to learn which creatures drop certain materials. And to make absolute certain that your pet is looking their best, you can equip them with all sorts of hats. Let's give this creature some googly eyes. And let's give the other one a wizard's hat. There will be lots of fun items that you can equip your creatures with that will make them look extra cool. Throughout your adventure, you'll collect seeds that you can use in your pocket garden, a portable garden that allows you to grow items and buffs from anywhere in the world. Certain seeds will need a specifically shaped plot in order to grow, so you'll have to be smart about how you fit together crops in order to maximize on the space provided. But plant some seeds and defeat some creatures and you'll have materials growing in no time. The crops that you plant in your garden will also provide certain buffs, 
So however you choose to use it, you'll want to keep cultivating lots of goodies so that you reap the benefits of what you grow. Well friends, that's all we're going to explore in this video today, but there's a lot more that we haven't discussed here. Like all the great combat abilities and weapons that you as the creature keeper are going to be able to take advantage of throughout your journey. And there's a whole world filled with incredible characters whose stories I think you're really going to enjoy diving into. Not to mention all the other awesome creatures that you'll encounter. We look forward to sharing more info as we continue to build the world and get the game ready for a release in 2023. Be sure to wishlist Creature Keeper on Steam to show your support and follow all of our socials so you can keep up to date on the latest developments with the game. And don't forget to check out the other great monster taming games like Monster Sanctuary and Coromon that are also participating in this event. And most importantly, if you can, visit the donation site found on our socials or from the news post on the Creature Keeper Steam page. And if you're able, please consider donating to save some real life animals. Thanks so much. We look forward to showing off more of the game in the near future, so stay tuned for all the latest updates.